Some people have their bass drums very close to each other until you see that their hoops are almost kissing. And some people may have their bass drums very wide apart as if they want to do a split. And some people may sit very high as if they are teaching in preschool. And some people sit very low like they are drowning in their kit. But let me tell you that there's no right or wrong. You need to be able to play comfortably behind your kit. We are back with another lesson where I'll be giving you tips on how to set up your double bass drums or double pedal to make you guys feel and play comfortably and ergonomically, which at the end will make you play better. All right, let's get into number one on the list, and that is how far apart the bass drums should be. And this is what I came up with. People have different heights, right? I'm a relatively tall guy, I'm six foot tall, and I can tell you that height matters on where to put your bass drums. As for me, I need to be able to put my snare perfectly in the center without my knees bumping on the snare. Therefore, this position is perfect for me. I suggest you to set the snare first, then the bass drums, just to know how far apart your legs should be. The second factor is how do you sit on the stool? Some sit very high, some sit very low, but then again, you kind of need to find your own sweet spot for this. I've tried sitting very high, a little bit, just a little bit higher than this, and it did not work because whenever I do heel toe, I like to play heel toe by the way, whenever I do heel toe, it hurt my shins like crazy. I also tried sitting lower than this. It worked, it was okay, but whenever I wanted to do rim shots, I keep hitting the rim. So I set the height somewhere around my knees, just a little bit above my knees to be exact. And this is the perfect drum throne height for me, at least for my playing style. But we're not done here because there's still one more thing and that is how far the bass drums from your sitting position. Don't forget that this is still an important thing to consider because you kind of need to adjust the distance based on your playing style. Some of you may have your bass drums a little bit closer to you until your legs are perfectly right angle and some of you may have your bass drums a little bit away from you. Really that is personal preference where I like mine just to be right over there. Not too close until I hurt my shins again, I'm a heel toe guy, yet I can still play with other techniques like the old school full leg motion, heel up and even angle and swivel which I am currently working on. People explain these things as separate things but these three factors are connected to each other and are beneficial if you want to improve your playing and your level of comfort. All of these adjustments should be done together. Now let's talk about double pedal, where the same principles apply just without the other bass drum. So many people have the misconception that the bass drum is the center of everything. Well yes, it's the center of the music or the mix since it's the foundation, but not the center of the kit. In my humble opinion, I do not find it ergonomic at all if you set your kit like this, well, where you'll be forcing your body to face the same direction as your bass drums. The most natural way is to picture that you have another bass drum on your other side and set your double pedal down. I know that the kit may look a little bit off, but that's the most ergonomic and comfortable position where you'll be thanking me later for the absence of your back pain and imbalance. Oh yeah, and one more thing that's no less important. To make sure that both your feet feel the same, the angle of the pedals need to be the same as well. One easy way to ensure this is just to align the angle of the pedals with the knees and that is pretty much how you do it. So to summarize this topic, you need to understand one more time there is no right or wrong, there are no strict rules, play with what works for you. This video is to help you find your desired settings, not mine, but yours. Your setting might work for you, might not work for me and vice versa. Alright guys, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to leave thumbs up and comments down below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, that way it will help me a lot. Don't forget to practice every time you have a chance to, and I will see you all in the next one. Rock on.